Hey everyone, so previously we were covering the node settings for the drill down map visual. And if you remember, I specifically said that certain label settings I'm going to be covering in one of the next videos. And this is the case. In this video, we're going to be going through the all customization options for the nodes within the drill down map visual. Now, as always, you have a pre-configured variation available for you in the sample report. But for us, we're going to go into the training view and actually build the chart from scratch. So first things first, let's add an instance of the map visual. So let's go here, let's resize it. And I'm also going to disable the background and the title. Now for the setup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a latitude and longitude since those fields are mandatory. Afterwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add some name. I'm going to then afterwards use radius as my value. For the colors, I have also a column already prepared. I'm also going to be using images, shapes, and auras. Now, when I add these fields, you can actually see that nothing really changed there. And this is because if you remember from the initial setup video, there are certain fields that are only applicable when you use single nodes. And from the node setting video, I mentioned that the default value for the nodes is getting clustered. So what I need to do here in order to activate all these settings is go into the formatting options, node settings, and disable the node clusters. So you can see now I have visible auras, I have the colors for them, I have different shapes for the nodes itself, I have the images, but there is one thing still missing, and that is the nodes are in all the same color. So what I need to do here is under node settings, change the color mode from auto to dynamic. So this allows the visual to read the colors from the data field that I provided. Now, going a little bit downwards, we have our five settings for the value labels. We have our value label position, display unit, value decimals, and label position. So for the value labels and regular labels, you can choose where are they placed. By default, the value label is going to be inside, whereas the node label by itself is going to be always on the outside. So you can always mix and match these. So you can have even both inside or you can place both of them outside. Now, once you place them both outside, for example, in this case, I can also adjust the label format. This is a setting that only works if you have both labels in the exactly same location. So for example, if I switch it now, let's say to have name, comma, value, that's the valuation you see here. Whereas if I change the label position, for example, to inside, you can see that I can change these settings, but the visual doesn't change anything. That is because, as I previously mentioned, unless they are exactly in the same position, those are not going to be applicable. So let's just move the label outside again. There we go. Now, these were the first ones. The next settings that you need to know about are actually going to be inside and outside labels. So you can individually customize inside labels, and you can furthermore customize also the outside labels. So if you're not using one of them, you can always just disable the settings. If we open up one of the tabs, so for example, outside labels, the contents for them are going to be exactly the same. So I can easily go through one of them and it's going to be the same for also the inside labels. So first thing that you see here is the font sizing modes for the labels. Now, what I can do here is since it's fixed, I can assign a font size through this setting right here and say, for example, just increase it to 15. Whereas if I choose the automatic mode, what it does is it's going to automatically scale the fonts based on the size of the node and the value of the node. So it's going to be, become a really dynamic font size. In some cases, it works great. But in other cases, you always want to have all the labels with the exact same font size. Otherwise, it just becomes really hard to read labels, let's say, that have a really small radius. Now, the other settings that you have here are going to be font family font style, and also font color. To move even further on, you can also change things like backgrounds, for example, their opacities, and their radiuses and paddings. So the radius essentially allows you to round it up the corners of the background. So for example, if I go back and say change this to 50, sorry, not 50, but zero, you can see that it becomes a rectangle. If I change it back to 50, this is going to have a rounded corner now. So that's one thing. And the padding is going to increase the physical distance between the background and the font itself. So for example, if I make this five, you can see that the background became a lot bigger. 
So this is something that you can remember if you want to customize this down to the last detail. All right, that's going to be it for the node label value customization, and I'll see you in the next video.